Shiny, an R package which can turn R programs into data-driven interactive web apps. But what is an R Shiny web app, and why do you need one? You want to share this forecast app with decision makers. But they need it on their phone and laptops, able to forecast just the right subset of data at will. So the problem becomes, how do we share a forecast program on the desktop and on the go to give decision makers control? One way is to email the R developer, send a series of questions, wait for an email back, or wait for the next meeting where an update is given, typically as a slideshow. This is often too slow to be useful in decision making. Let's get rid of the hassle of multiple emails and get people engaged. With Shiny Proxy Server, we can solve all these problems. On AWS, with Secure Nginx, Shiny Proxy, Grafana Server Monitoring, and publishing our R Shiny apps needed for decision makers. Now each and every decision maker can log in, access their secured R Shiny apps, and quit digging around waiting for answers. That's one happy team. There are three fundamental elements in the world of an R Shiny app. Create your R program, incorporate your R program into a Shiny app, Finally, when you're ready, share it with Shiny Proxy. ShinyApps.io and RStudio Connect could also be used. An RStudio Desktop Editor, or the RStudio Web Editor included with Yak Data Smart Manager, we use two R packages in addition to the core R packages. We read in the US GDP data from a file, prepare it for forecasting, build a model, use that model to predict future values, combine the historic data with the predicted values, and graph it all. Let's take the R program and add it to a Shiny template app, which uses the Shiny package, a server function. Within the server, create a forecast graph object. The graph from our earlier example is the return value. The front end is a fluid UI page, and we pass in the forecast object to the appropriate rendering function. If we click Run, we'll see our Shiny app. Let's publish it to Shiny Proxy, and all we have left is specify authorization permissions. This has been our Shiny Apps in 100 Seconds. I'm Stephen McDaniel. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe, like, and comment. Stay tuned for more great content coming to this channel soon. Thanks for watching.